Welcome back. This is Chirach here. Uh, so recently True Talent posted on his Twitter about a couple days ago, um, calling out survivors bowling killers. Uh, you know the type of uh, survivors I'm talking about. Like they do all the tea bags, uh, the blind flashlights, flashlight blinds, uh, jumping over pallets over and over and over again, uh, kind of holding the game hostage, and then afterwards like messaging the killer that uh, you know they're trash, so much and so on. Um, there are worse things than that. There's just like like saying that. I mean, there are some stuff that bannable stuff that they say. Um, and this isn't all survivors. Um, it seems to happen with SWFs the most. Uh, when you're with your friends and stuff, they, you know, especially, it's really cool to, like, when you're with your friends to mess around with the killer and especially stomp on them. But then you go on to the next game, you don't need to message them, like, um, hateful messages and stuff because you stomp them um, and just be a total ass. And that's where Truth's coming from. Like, um, the, he's saying that these people are like this and then they turn around and then they wonder why the killer camps them during the game or uh, tunnels them uh, because of actions like this that are going on. Um, they go in to try to troll someone and then when it go turns around on top of them um, and it's coming back at them, they get super mad and angry and upset about it and either go into their Twitch chat or message them from whatever console they're on, it's a, b a bunch of hate. Um, but I mean, they brought it on themselves. So you can't uh, ask a killer to not do these things back to you um, and play and make the game fun for you if you're gonna be acting like that. Um, and yes, I'm mostly a killer main, so and I've also played Survivor. I play Survivor with my friends, so I know how it is to be a Survivor. And I hate being tunneled, and I hate being face camped. But when it happens at the beginning of the game, that's very frustrating. Um, it usually happens when we're not uh, acting like those survivors, who are like being complete assholes, or they're just um, just basically running around the killer. And you're supposed to. You're supposed to survive. You're supposed to. I get it. Um, it comes a point where like the body blocking and stuff and you've seen it and the excessive tea bags and just jumping over stuff and coming in and out of lockers and stuff is really annoying um especially at the end game um like i've done it a few times i admit but i'm not gonna message the killer and tell him he's trash or her she's trash or all this um i'm guilty of it a little bit as survivor not to the extent that I face, and I've seen other people as WF squads face uh, due to killers. And I say like 90% of the time, the killer is not gonna message you um, back in my experience and my friend's experiences. So Truth Talent's taking a stand for um, the game. He's all, you can't make it toxic for the, them, the environment, and then expect them person to receiving the toxicity to uh, make it fun for you back. They're not going to do that. Um, one, they're going to be completely miserable and pissed off at you. And they're going to do everything to uh, turn around the toxicity and uh, bring it back on you. And if not, they're just going to make your experience horrible because they're not having fun. So you're not going to end up having fun. So it's a, it's a double-edged sword. Um, I know people are going to be like, oh, well, you're a killer main, you don't understand, da, da, da. I'm like, yes, I'm going to say again, I've played Survivor, I've played in SWS squads, I've been guilty of a few times of being a little toxic towards killers. I don't do it very often because I know how it is to be killer and face that. I have been, I've dealt with very few killers that will face camp me um, or tunnel me. Very few, very few. Um, normally, I just play and I have fun, you know, I get hooked. You know, I'm the first one hooked, and then I die and hook. Oh, fuck, I died. Okay, next game, or I'll watch my friends. I'll watch my friends uh, play, and if they get out or they don't get out, good, or not. We'll go on to the next game. We don't need to be uh, assholes about it and try to ruin another person's 
game while they're trying to play the next game and they've already moved on but you have not moved on that's what true talent's talking about and that's what he's uh saying so um this is Chiro Cherry. thank you for watching liking subscribing and i'll see you all on the fog and on the battlefield uh apex legends and dead by daylight and other games you know goosebumps all that stuff so bye